Fezzy. The Ron and Fez Show. XM 202. Apparently, um, this young girl, Tara Connor, how old? Show 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. What happened, Fezzy? Someone took the CD I was going to play out of the CD player Uh and put something else in it. Well, everybody thought that you wanted to, uh, you know, keep playing the same uh, Oprah bit that you love so much. Oh, yeah, that was... I I switched it. I said... uh, I was going to switch the discs. No, I thought you said, Spider. I thought you said, I'm okay, Spider. Okay. <laughs> I switched this. I apologize for that one. I think it's a funny idea. You got Fez all upset and uh, popping a stent. Aww. No, I wasn't trying to. Now, who did you tell that you switched the disc to? I, don't know if I thought I had said something, but maybe he didn't hear You me. didn't say it to me. I didn't even see you come in here and do it. He sneaks in behind you like a fucking CD elf in the middle of the night. <laughs> you, hey, you never told me. You never fucking told me that you've changed that CD. <clears throat> I mentioned it must. Well, obviously. give the kid credit, Fezzy. You made an ass mm-hmm. out of you. Give him all the credit in the world. No, I wasn't trying to do that. I, get, I must have said it way too quietly and quickly. How'd you say it like this? No, it's the same CD, first. No, I did say that. Uh, <laughs> no, I did say. I'm gonna, I thought you said He never I said it. I thought you said I'm okay, Spider. <laughs> Fezzy, how'd you feel? Like a fucking moron when you played that? Like a maniac. Yeah. Like a homeless person, actually. <laughs> like a crazy, nutty homeless person. Let me tell you, what do what crazy homeless people do when things don't come their way? They throw water and they throw their fucking headphones. Yeah, the new schedule's gonna work out for us, isn't it? You fucking zombies. <laughs> hey, uh... Hey, Michael. Michael, you're on the Ron and Fez show. Yeah, uh, news just came out that uh, Rocky Balboa opened pretty big for a movie of that kind last night. What do you mean of that kind? Italian? Yeah, that kind. <laughs> They're not that kind. Uh, <laughs> this other fucking movie, uh, Dreamgirls, is that kind. Yeah, exactly. That's that kind of movie. Yeah, I'm talking about... Uh, six, well, how much money did it make? $6.2 million. You know what made more money on a Wednesday than that? Uh, that last uh, 666 movie, whatever that was over the summer. Oh, Remember, yeah. it was... Uh, the sign of the apocalypse. Oh, yeah. I can't think of what the name of it is now. Damien. The Omen. Yeah, thank you. Well, I had to go to the fucking preview. I almost killed myself. <laughs> I was hoping Damien would take over the world and kill everyone. <laughs> hey, uh, Jameson uh, brought us some food uh, from uh, Porto Fino. Uh, he wanted to come by and watch how the show runs and had the opportunity to see Fez throw his headphones and a mm-hmm. bottle of water at a window. <laughs> This is why we can't have nice things, Fuzzy. Again, not my fault. Why people have to sneak in here and screw with my stuff without telling me is beyond me. Why would you do that, uh, Dave? What was the funny fucking bit there? And it's like the second time in like two weeks that it's happened. Yeah. No, there wasn't a bit. I, I wanted to put the sleeve song back in in case we wanted to play some Christmas music. And I thought, why would we play the why other? Why did I hear Oprah talking? Yeah, that wasn't the sleeve song you put in there. It was the Rosie O'Donnell. That was Ro- that was Rosie, and then the second track is Trump, and the third track was Sleeves. And the the point is, I, I messed up. I didn't realize we were going to be wanting to hear that other audio again. Yeah. Why not? Because you didn't ask anybody. It was in, it was an assumption that was the wrong one. But everybody else is talking. I told Fez I wanted to hear it. Fez talked to me. And I don't understand why you didn't get involved. Me and Ron and Earl all knew it. Did oh. you know Earl? Yeah, you told me to, that we were going to rerun it. And... Earl, I want to just give it away. I was going to wait for tomorrow, but you are producer of the year. Earl, <laughs> wow. wow. I didn't want to break that story too early. Thank you, Ronnie. I'm humbled and honored. Yeah, the voting closing at the end of the year here. Yeah. Look, he's pouring water on his head. Why are you pouring water on your head? Because. <laughs> what? Because you want a madman, and um, you want me fucking hopping mad, and I'm fucking hopping mad. He gets producer of the year. Yes, <laughs> yes, he is. He produ- should have fucking told me that you wanted to hear that audio. Why are you he pouring water on? Look at him fucking pouring a bottle of water on his head like a maniac. Why are you pouring water on yourself? Watch out for the board. You're gonna put your fire out. <laughs> Come in here. Come me. away from that board, Weddy. 
Come away from that oh board. Shit. Oh, my God. He's in the booth pouring water on himself. Here he comes in this studio. He's like Dave. Oh my God. He reminds me of an abused kid that'll hurt himself. What do you get? Get oh, stop pouring water on your head. There, you want it? Yes. Mm -hmm. He never told me it. What? He should fucking communicate once in a while. <laughs> Earl Douglas. The person to communicate with is Fez. I honestly did say it. it was obviously way too low and way too fast, and I and Fez didn't hear me, so All that right. is my mistake. You know what? That's just one of those things that happened. But let's put our hands together for producer of the year. Oh, Earl Douglas. Earl, don't, don't do it. You don't want Because I'm so fucking mad. Why are you mad? That my fucking body heat is going to 115. That's why I'm pouring water because I need to to cool off. You knew the voting was closing today on uh, producer. It's of the year. No, it shouldn't be. There's a fucking another show tomorrow. You're not going to be able to catch him. This sucker never speaks a word to me. You know it's 300 what? to nothing. All right, watch with the racism, Waterhead. Earl, you feel this is your responsibility that somehow you didn't communicate between Fez and Dave? No, not at all. I mean, don't don't <laughs> fuck around with my present. That's from Missy and Jeff. Stop what fucking headbutting my present. Oh, All right, Fezzy, I, I want you to fucking feel responsible for this. This is the first day of the new schedule. First day of the new schedule. Look how they're behaving. Why is he being such a retard when I'm the one who got it done to me? That's when, what I don't understand. What got on you, Winnie? Um, he spilled a bottle of water all over me. Thank you, David. I didn't mean to do that. I apologize. That... Cost you. I gotta go back to work with a wet skirt like an animal. Like you do everything. <laughs> Bro, don't throw water. I and don't pour water on your head and on our guest. I I wasn't trying to pour it on her, but or, you know, it's just I'm very hopping mad about it because I don't get told any. I didn't know we were gonna come back with Alki, so I thought I switched them, and I did think I said Earl. something. But Dave, you didn't tell me that you took it out. Why well, no? That was a mistake down my part. What do you want me to do, Earl? Hit myself in the head with a garbage can? Huh? Stop Here it. it is. There. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Dave, you're just insane. <laughs> That's what he wants. He wants me to, to hurt myself. I can fucking tell. How is this my fault? Look, you always blame everything on me. How is this my fault? This I, is here. just one of those things that happen. It's a miscommunication. I don't know what to take away from. Producer of the year. Bullshit. Girl, it's bullshit. bullshit. He's the producer. Fuck that shit. The producer of the year. That Look at him. Song. He's a producer. <laughs> <laughs> the producer of the year. Producing. You know what? He produces a lot of naps. That's fucking Earl Douglas oh. for you. Z's. He produces a lot of cartoon Z's over his head. Shouldn't it be enough honor just to be nominated? <laughs> he produces heavy eyelids. He wasn't. Oh, no. He wasn't oh. nominated. Jeez. It should have been an honor. And but Earl was the only one nominated and then won. I see He's the producer. He should be. Producer of the year. He keeps smiling, too. Keep laughing, Kathleen. We used to be pals. Every Catherine. fucking person. Yeah, Kath <laughs> Catherine from the Bronx. Are <laughs> <laughs> I am an kid see straight. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Calm down. Oh is it because Fez threw a bottle of water at you? <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. But I, I am not, I don't feel myself. Overworked. One fucking day he's overworked. No, I'm not overworked at all. I felt fucking great. I had a good night's sleep. I came in here energized as could be. And you went quite mad. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Maybe this will calm you down. Don't he's do it, Ron. Congratulations. I want you to stop throwing shit in here, okay? Now, you look like you're ready to cry. What's bothering you? Oh. I don't know. It's the Christmas season. I don't feel Earl has ever loved me. And this is just more proof of it. And and that's that's depressing to me. Because I thought we were a team. You're seriously having a fucking breakdown. Fez has set up a system you can't live under. No. Yes, don't touch my stuff. It's a very difficult system. No, not that one. You know what I mean. Double down. This fucking kid is fragile. He's not able to do it. I am absolutely able to do it. No. I don't like being betrayed by the person who's supposed to, you know, be you're a crying leader. Now. now you're crying. 
I don't think there's any situation in which banging a plastic garbage can into your head is appropriate. Am I right? Why are you Very crying? Funny. Look at me. I you literally have him crying, Fez. Oh, my God. I can't. Dave. That fucking big black guy. I thought he was my teddy bear. Dave. And he never is. Dave, I want. I know, look at me. You're not able to look at me right now. No. Because you're crying, right? I'm looking at the the bottle of music. I, I need you. I n honestly and need... And an orange highlight marker. I honestly need you <laughs> to look at me for a moment, right? Okay. Give me some music, for some little sad music. I'll get you that. Yeah. And I want you to understand something. This was very important to you. Yeah. That you come in here and to do a good job every day, right? Yes, it is. I, I think tears are passions. But for, for passion drops. And you've listened to Ron and Fez for a long time, and you like them. You want to please them. Over five and a half years. And you love them. Yeah, I do. Today, you had a realization that these guys that you love don't think that you're any good and yeah. don't like you very much. That, that's that's part of it. And that's something for you to live with. Producer of the yeah. year, it's what everyone dreams of. That's what I wanted. I wanted that title. I caught you fake laughing today. Which I don't Earl, feel I was. But you were. You were cackling for no fucking apparent reason. Seriously, look at me now. If I could... Cackling like a maniac. If I could take a lie detector test, I would Dave, succeed. We have no truth to, for the other side of lie. Lie detector test would just be you're either lying or lying more. That's the only... That's the two opposites that you have. Right. Every year, Fez and I give out a coveted prize. Producer of the year. We look forward to it. Ah, I year, wanted it. It was the first time unanimous. It was a blowout. I don't see it how that's possible. Girl. I just don't see. Maybe if you didn't yank that thing out behind Fez's back and make him look like a maniac. I wanted one vote, at least. You even a, a second place vote or something. You know what? I'm going over the ballots here. Uh, Westside didn't even vote for you. Wow. Ouch. <sighs> what are you doing? Fruit Loops. Loops. You're crazy right now, right? I feel a little out of my skin, but I, again, I'm gonna send you home. I felt perfectly fine until those big, that big guy in the booth, that big guy, that big. Right, always, Dave. Yeah. Just sit quietly because you're not even making sense. Uh, Anthony, you're on a fuzz. Hey, what's going on? Yeah. Uh, I, I think Dave needs a little cowbell. I, he sounds a little under the. You know what? I'm not. I wouldn't even hit him with a cowbell right now because I think I could kill him. <laughs> He's on the yeah. edge, Winnie. Because you're sitting in here, you know that this whole thing is real, right? Uh, I mean, yeah. you've known Dave for a long time. I have, and I, I, I'm a little worried about him, but I'm still at the same time keeping Jeff and Missy's gift in between us. Yeah, Jeff yeah. and Missy sent worried. us a, a beautiful gift. Uh, a, a, a basket filled with all kinds of great foods that Dave took and slammed into his own skull and a way of trying to hurt yourself. Yes. Thank you, I Jeff and Missy. Candy canes. just want to punish myself with those candy canes that came in the basket. Dave, all can decide this is not uh, what we're looking for. I understand. I'm going to try uh, to uh, sane up. I, I mean, drunk people say I'll sober up. I'd like to sane up right now. Uh, You're going to have to. I am going to. And don't start pouring water all over yourself. I won't. Wait a minute. Uh, who threw the initial water at him and started this, Fez? I threw a bottle towards him, but I didn't start pouring it. Maybe subconsciously it kicked in my brain. You know? I think it did. You want water on me so bad? I'll, Here, I'll do I'll it. That's do, what I'll he, do you the favor. That's exactly what he did. Fez, why don't you tell him how you really feel about him? I don't want him messing with my stuff. No, not, that's not what I'm talking about. How is it that you feel about Dave? I like Dave. I want him to succeed. Why, are, why can't you look at him and say you? Why are you acting like he's a third person? You're two bald-headed fucking idiots together. <laughs> Dave, I want you to do a good job. I don't want you to be upset. That is not how you feel about him. I want you to do a good job. What is it on a gut level that you feel about him? He needs something from you. Uh, Dave, you are one of my favorite people around. Thank you. I enjoy seeing you every day. Thank you. I really enjoy working with you. I think you're probably a pretty good friend. Thank you. And I think you're, special. at heart, a good person. Those words mean a lot to me. They're a special. man just lied to you. Okay, Dave? I don't So stop acting nuts. 
You fucking maniac. Is that what you needed to hear? You guys throw cold water on it. You want me to do it? I'll throw the cold water. Cause the, I thought no more throwing anything. Why are you crying? It doesn't feel like uh, the brain or something. I don't know. All you have to say is, I'm sorry I switched the CD. There didn't have to be any water or hitting I, or cutting. I apologize for the CD transference. Thank you. I accept your apology. See? I don't. You ruined the show. <laughs> <laughs> One good thing came out of this. Earl became the producer. <laughs> Produ <laughs> yeah. He's the producer. What are you doing, Dave? What are you shaking over there? The Mucinex. I'm trying to drown out the applause. <laughs> it's not working. We all have microphones. Yeah, you're just adding to the festivities. Do you honest I honestly think we have the worst show in the history of radio. I don't know how we keep failing I've our way up. <laughs> it's amazing to me. I think we have the best. No, I've been around it, and I know good from bad, and this is really bad. It's as bad as you can get, and yet everyone else is so awful that we keep getting breaks. <laughs> it's really quite spectacular, the, the 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 place of American radio now. Yeah. Let's just put the whole thing out of it. You know, the competition shouldn't even take place. It just annoys people. Uh, Bull, Bull, you're around a fez. Hey, boys, how you guys doing today? Yeah. Look, uh, I just really wanted to call and let you guys know it makes me feel real good. And Black Earl, hats off. Congratulations. on hey, the <laughs> <laughs> so the file. Congratulations. Use the next file because it's bullshit. What's that? What, what exactly did... Just congratulate him. Here. What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't. No, I congratulate him. All right, Don't. stop. Stop making a mess in here. What exactly did he do so much better? That, that that I did. All right. When there's a CD, he leaves it. He doesn't go behind Fez's back on tiptoes and steal it. Like a Christmas mouse. He can explain himself. Oh. Uh, I've never seen him pour water on his own head or start crying during the show. Right. Well, he's probably afraid of water. Doesn't make sense. He's He's too... For a black man, he's the most vanilla thing I've ever seen. Now this place stinks like Febreze. No, 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 it does. I was trying to spray that Earl through the glass. It doesn't work, Nutsy. It <laughs> doesn't work at all. Oh, God. Did I tell you this was going to happen, Fez? What mm. I didn't know was going to be this fest. Yeah, I had no idea the, the time bomb would go off this soon. Scott, you're running Fez. Hi, uh, yeah, I just wanted to call in to claim the prize for uh, uh, Dave crying. <laughs> yeah, what's in the big ass prize? We'll ring that little cowbell. We'll get you a, a copy of Selections from Sinatra, Vegas, courtesy of Rhino Entertainment. You can check that out at rhino.com. These Thanks are tears of much. joy. Tears of joy, in my opinion, because I'm, I'm happy. It's like a revelation that I finally learned I can never depend on Earl. Well, Earl had nothing to do with this. Earl and I had something set up that we were going to do when we came back from break. You're the one who came in with your big feet and trampled all over it. What happened that you liked him very much and you said all the nice things? Well, I can I only was... stand so much. I like that. I like that part a lot better a few minutes ago. And all he had to do was, oh, we're coming out of the break with Alki. Oh, I'll go in and switch those CDs. Well, let's listen to Alki rant now. It'll make us forget about our problems. Uh, it's not in there, I don't think. It's yeah, I still haven't gotten it. So now this whole thing is still Fez's fault. If we go back to the whole ADF thing. It really it is. It's a very good point. If, if Fez doesn't go out looking like a homeless person, <laughs> ADF. All right, let's go all the way through to see, because this is like Babel. This is like that movie Babel that's uh, out right now. If Fez doesn't go out like a homeless person, ADF doesn't see him and laugh, Fez doesn't yell at ADF, ADF doesn't quit run Fez.net, right. Riley doesn't get to be mod and ban uh, Alki, Alki doesn't yell on Pal Talk, which gets made into a CD, which Fez goes to play and doesn't fucking work, so he throws water out a window and Dave sees him, starts crying and pours water on his own head and hit himself in the head with my beautiful gift uh, from Jeff and Missy, which i got to say thank you very much, and we will all enjoy this. This is where it all came, Fuzzy, because you went out disheveled. 
I have n- I cannot believe this is even close to my fault because I decided to go to the Apple Store on Fifth Avenue in New York one night. I have no problem with Riley Luck. I don't even know who the fucking cunt is, but for any of those fucking mods to fucking ban me over some bitch that has been around for four fucking months takes a lot of fucking balls. And for Mikey Boy to give me a fucking message that says, I'm too tired right now, I'll deal with you in the morning, fuck that shit. Fuck that. You deal with me now. I only fucking call in. I only fucking answer the show. I've only been friends with fucking Eastside Dave for six fucking years. For me to fucking be pushed aside and to still be banned in the morning is bullshit. Is absolute fucking horse shit. I don't fucking matter. Like, I don't fucking add anything. Some people that come out to those fucking Ron and Fez fucking parties come out and fucking want to say hi to me. <laughs> well, that part's true. Everybody comes out to meet Alki. And I'll tell you this, Fuzzy. I believe it's uh, you leading uh, him drinking too much. I honestly don't think that Alki would be drinking if it wasn't for you going out that night. He's an Irish Alki. There's nothing I can change about that. Now you can keep it together for the rest of the show, Dave? Yeah. I am there. I am in the, the you, together zone. You want to unread those rat eyes because you're fucking freaking me out? I can't unless I get Visine. I have very sensitive eyes. Well, just for the rest of the show, stay at an even keel. I, I will. Turtle, you're on the Ron and Fez show. Hiya, buddy. Hey, Turtle. Well, you know, i got to say, it's been so long since we've heard from Wacky Screaming Dave. Any chance we're going to get to hear his only other persona, Idiot Know-It-All Dave? <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. I'm going to keep it together. I'm going to keep it together, you fucking cocksuck. You motherfuckers in whack bag, the war is on. Attack them. Everyone at FBA, <laughs> shut them down. Bad fucking battle their asses. To the ground! Dave, Dave, calm. Dave? 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 I'm going to stay there. I'm gonna stay <laughs> there. you got to chill. Even You're not even making even sense. Chill? Attack. Dave. Turtle, you have a nice Christmas plan for yourself? We certainly do. How about yeah. you guys? Uh, Dave, yeah, you I'm going to be getting Christmas? away from the boys for a couple of days, and I can't wait. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm Turtle. My persona is the guy who calls up and does the same fucking joke every fucking time. There. That's me, Dave. Turtle. One joke to me. Dave. Dave. Uh, what? Suck a dick. Oh, oh, oh. he got me. Oh. Eat a cock. I ain't fucking invented that anyway. You invented eat a cock? Yes. Who was... did you eat? No, I mean the phrase. <sighs> Hi, I'm Turtle. <sighs> well, uh, call the war off, would you? Uh, it's just... <laughs> Just doesn't make sense. It's too late now, Mr. B. We have no fucking fail safe. Oh, the All order's the, been sent. The yeah. planes are in. Uh, we keep uh, losing and getting Kathleen back. I'm not. Let's see if I can get her back on. Yeah, there we are. Hey, Kathleen. Hey, what's up? I will say this you really messed up the show today. <laughs> I know. I feel that way myself. I'm guilty and everything. So. Bizarre well. how you're uh, <laughs> acting. I don't see it as such. I just see it as a guy who is passionate about the Ron Fez show. Are God you? Forbid. Yes. That's the, who else would act like that unless they cared? You would have thought you had been honored at the year-end awards then. I just wanted that title. <laughs> you, I, I think, literally, they were singing about you with this shit is bananas. Because you're out of your fucking mind now. Well, I don't like Gwen Stefani very much. And I'm really uncomfortable around you. <laughs> you I shouldn't really be. I'm not going to hurt you guys. Really? No, I it's you hurting yourself. I wouldn't hurt them. I poured water on myself. I didn't pour on Fez. Did you want to, though? Yeah, I did. Well, you wanted to pour water on me for your screw-up? You, you want me to be honest? Yes. I can't uh, tell you how much I, I, I hope someone would put a boomerang effect on that cowbell sometimes. Oh. Is that right? I'm oh. No, 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 no. I'm just saying. But maybe it will. Maybe that would have fucking happened. It hit my spine the other day. And maybe then now you're a better person for it. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah. But, I mean, I'm not angry at you guys because I love Ron Fez. The, the person I don't love anymore is Earl Douglas. And no, I, I used to love him. 
the producer of the year. He is the shouldn't get that title. title. <laughs> he should not get that title, though. You should not get that title. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> no reason for him to get that title, but, you know. And I want a recount, too. All right, one, two. He wins. I just recounted the votes. <laughs> Unanimous again. Uh, Hindu, you're my Fez. Hey, uh, boys, how you doing? Yeah. I know what uh, I know what Dave's problem is. Yeah. You never took him one ounce of crack. Hmm. That's a totally different situation. I don't even know. I don't know. I you know, I'm not harassing someone. The way that that situation unfolded, it was total harassment. Earl, do you understand him at all? No. You know not this, at all. he's in your staff, though, right? Barely. And, and Barely. He's totally sober, right? There's no white Russians around today. No, nothing. This is because I've seen similar. White uh, we behavior. doubled the workload. We oh. doubled the workload, and within not 24 hours, uh, 18 hours, it all starts to fall apart. A new study of psychedelic mushrooms shows that they have an ingredient that relieves the symptoms of severe OCD. Maybe that's why I never got him. So if, uh, I can't imagine someone who has to have everything regimented because well, I have some OCDs of my own. Right. I don't. I don't. I wouldn't consider mine severe. But anyone who's tripping and has OCD, I can't see where it's going to help. It seems like it would just. You're going to break it. You're going to be able to see. Doing any kind of psychedelics, Fez, you'll be able to see the fabric, what you call reality, bend and start to melt away. And you start to see into the other dimensions. And the last thing you're going to care about is that if all your shoes are lined up <laughs> fucking correctly, you've already seen directly into the mind of God. The problem is you're going to, have your, you're going to want your shoes lined up directly and you're going to see them marching away without anybody in them. Problem or a good thing? I'd say problem. No, I think that, see, you're still holding on tight. You gotta slow it down a little bit. Let it go. I think Let it, it'll speed away. Yeah, I think I would totally rather have the OCDs than, uh, trip. Than have the, uh. Than be sane. Than do the mushrooms. Yeah, to get rid of it. The thing is, you're not staying on mushrooms forever. You're just doing them every once in a while, like at a concert. When the mushrooms wear off, though, your, your OCDs will come back. Maybe slightly, maybe not as much. I'm just, I've done a lot of mushrooms in my time, and I still have a couple OCDs. What are your OCDs? I have to end all stairs with my left foot. So if I'm going on a, a flight of stairs, the mm. left foot has to be the one that hits the floor. What else? And I have to touch the, I have to have my sock on my left foot first, and I have to touch doorknobs usually with my left hand. All right, I want you to go over our doorknob and touch it with your right hand. Just grab it and open it up. A little bit weird. Just don't know. Go right hand. Pull it open. Okay. All right. And <laughs> shut it. And pull it back. And come sit down. No, seriously, go and do it again. And do it all the way. And then go back to your seat. Open it up. And all then right. drop it. Yeah. Now, I only hope from you doing that, something bad's not going to happen to your family. Because I feel like you've ruined something. It was very awkward looking. It looked like he was trying to do it with some sort of claw hand. Yes. It was that unnatural looking. Yeah, it's, I don't feel comfortable with the, that hand opening doors. I don't think I have OCDs. I can't think of any. Do you have any, uh, Winnie? I, I don't think so. I mean, I have, like, certain things I like to do at night before I go to sleep in a certain order, but that's Smoke a habit. joint? Yeah. Whatever. Like what? No, like, like whether you brush your teeth first or your face. like watch You your always face go shit, like... shower, and shave. You tell me. That's, <laughs> Pretty that's much. your uh, yeah. thing. <laughs> That's, but that's just habit. That's not like crazy if I don't stick to the schedule. And something will, yeah, something will be rolling. What about you, Kathleen? OCDs? Oh, yeah. Lots yeah. of them. I mean, not like anything that, you know, paralyzes me where I can't, like, leave my house or anything. But, yeah, so I'm willing to give the whole mushroom thing a try. Seems like as good a reason as any. Sure, <laughs> I agree. Let's all do them, Fez. Let's do it. And you know what? Let's even do some peyote. Oh, uh, yeah, that's cool. All right, sorry, I didn't want to have to, like, admit No, that. no, not at all. I think it would be a great idea. You want to, Fuzz? No, I do not want to. I do not want to trip. I don't think I would ever come back from tripping. How do you know that, though, until you've tried we it? We can all do it together. Do you want me to dose hey. you? No, do not dose me, please. I'll dose you, and then I'll quick eat some and follow you right along. Right down the fucking rabbit hole right after you. <laughs> and off we go, brother. Just let go. 
I would be so afraid that I wouldn't even be able to find you. And I'll be just fucking grabbing you by the face. I'll be too close. You're not your mother's son. You're not your mother's son. You're not your mother's son. Just fucking ride it out one time. So brutal. I, I would be counting... What is the, brutal about being able to lose your OCDs? <laughs> I, I would be afraid that I would try to actually combine the two. And it would turn into an even worse uh, hallucination. Hey, NEW, do you remember the show at all? Do you remember the Ron and Fez show even slightly? Yes. Do you really? Yes. Then why would this fucking song pop up? Uh, Keith, Keith, you're on Ron and Fez. Hey, uh, buddies, uh, how's it going? Real good. All right, um, Black Earl is already getting a little wax. He, uh, hears Mushrooms Cure and immediately puts acid on the board. I don't know, uh, adding credence to Dave's argument. Yeah, it is true. I'm going to rescind yes. the Producer of the Year Award, and it will be given out tomorrow. Oh, yes. Tomorrow is originally Thank planned. You. Now, see, that's all you had to say. I feel so, like a million times better right off the bat. Well, the thing is, uh, I do remember you saying I wish that uh, Cowbell had a boomerang effect on it. <laughs> no. I'll never forget that. No, no. I, I know you wanted to pour water on Fed. Yeah, that'll be considered in the voting. These were flashes. I, I was being honest with you. I'd never act on them. Too late, fucko. Seriously. Too late. I'm not going to fucking get up for it twice. Doesn't even fucking make sense. Doesn't even make sense. Right now, here's in the running for producer of the year. Uh, Private Pile slash Kane. <laughs> How are you, my hey, friend? How hey, Ron and Fez, just checking in. How are you? Which, uh, uh, which one of your personalities am I talking to right now? I'm Private Pile right now. Wow. The, I, I'm telling you, the holidays have been stressing us out like anything. Who's us? You and Kane? Your other yeah, we went to be yeah, we went to Best Buy's to get a present, and uh, he, he kind of lost it in there and uh, knocked over a display and stuff. Sure, that's going to happen from time to time. Yeah, a lot of people in his way and stuff. He doesn't like that and no. coming too, too close. Your other personality, Kane, how would you describe him to people? Um, he's... Uh, He's, he's, he can be, uh, I guess, uh, he protects me, so if you're nice to me, uh -huh. he, he's nice to you, but if you're uh, not nice to uh, me, Private Pile, he can be a mean SOB. So he actually almost works for you. Yeah, he's like my hired bodyguard. I see. And yeah. uh, what does he look like? Describe him to people. He looks like, well, he's pretty much the, you know, the cane, the wrestler? Yeah. He's uh, well. He's invisible, but he's he he's Kane the wrestler. Now, when did he first come to you? Before you saw wrestling, or after? I'm um, just right after uh, right. wrestling. So and back in '97. All right. So you were watching wrestling back in '97, and you saw Kane, and then suddenly he jumped into your body. Yeah. Well, his voice. His voice did. Yeah, and then his and then when his voice talks to me, his I become him. And he, when, whatever he tells me to do at the time, I do it. If it's if it's break something, I'll break it. If it's uh, if it's to confront somebody, yeah, uh, it, or it, knock over a display at the Best Buy. All right, could, yeah. Could you do me a favor? Could you have your other personality, Kane, get mad at Eastside Dave for me? On on the air? Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, Dave will have to say something to. All right. me. Annoy, annoy Pyle. Attack him, Dave. You're a real son of a bitch, Pyle, and a wimp to boot. Okay, Dave, you know what? This is Kane now, and you need uh -oh. to uh, step off right now, because wow. when, when I come to uh, uh, New York, and uh, I'm going to choke slam your ass. I'll, it is amazing how his voice has totally <laughs> changed. I'll thrash when, you, Kane. I'll thrash you with my own Stone Cold Stunner, bitch. You won't be able to touch me because I get powers from the unknown. Bring it on, then. Wait a minute. Is this, pussy, Kane, is this Kane or Pyle? You get it, Dave, you get it up the ass. Oh! You son of a bitch, Kane. You want to mess with me now, Kane? That's, you're another one on the list. Yeah, wait till I come up to New York. I'm, I'm, I'm going. You're, you'll be the first one you, I see. I hope Pyle comes, not Kane. I like that. <laughs> well, they both uh, will come together. This is Pyle now. So. Oh, that was scary, oh. Pyle. Do you no, even no. remember what happened? Yeah, do you even know? 
Yeah, I hear what Kane uh, tells. Us. I, like I had to work things out at Best Buy. I had to help sure. put the. Dis- I had to help put the. I had to help put the display back together. Do you ever so, say to them, "Look, believe me, I know him. He's not always like that. Just sometimes well, he know, gets upset." You know, I'm for real because you saw me at WJFK. I did. I saw you punch a wall. Yeah, and I still have beef with uh, J Dubs. Uh, I I don't know what I'll do if. Uh, Kane sees him. All I hope is that Kane kills him and stabs him with a knife. Yeah, oh, I got good news, though. My mom's driving up to New York, though, in January because she helps a <laughs> friend of hers who has um, Alzheimer's. So she, I'm going to go with her, and she can drop me off. And, oh, her other and, persona and, is Fabulous Moolah. Yeah. <laughs> and my mom can drop me off in the city, and then, you know, I can You can stay with Fez with for a couple days if you need to. Yeah, or or if there's any motels in the city somewhere. Yeah, we have some motels around here, some motor inns <laughs> that you could come to. Yeah, n- no, but I'm glad the holidays are almost over, though. I'm telling you that. Then you're going to go down when you come up to the Big Apple pile, down doggy okay. style, you know what I'm saying? Tough guy. I don't, th- I don't think so, Dave, because you know what? Earl's the producer of the year. Oh, 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 he got two oh, votes. Dave. Fuck you, pile. Of the year. Bullshit, he did, pile. You're going down. Come on, no, everybody. Here's Don't say Don't say pile. Producer of the year. Don't say, don't say. All right, thanks, pile. We'll talk to you later. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll check in with you guys. Have a good uh, all right. Christmas. See you over okay, at Fez's house. Bring a knife. Uh, I don't have that many bedrooms for all the personalities. This is quite a show you got here. Yeah, it's something I'm real <laughs> proud of. It's been quite a time. Uh, thanks so much for stopping by, Winnie. Enjoy the rest well, of your you. Chinooga. I hope it's wonderful for you. Enjoy your Christmas. Congratulations on your awards. Thank Kathleen you. from the Bronx, thanks so much, buddy. Yeah, it was fun hanging out with you. <laughs> Ragging and rolling and whatnot. <laughs> Kathleen, the last bus dot blogspot dot com. Thank hey, you. Jameson, thanks for bringing us by some food, brother. We appreciate it. And, of course, Fezzy Angry, uh, Missy, and uh, Jeff sent us this uh, lovely basket, which we will all enjoy. Oh. All kinds of great food there. Really nice. Thank you very, very much. Uh, that's the end of my show. Donk.